Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the time. In 2018, more than 2 million Americans will suffer from addiction to prescription or illicit opioids. As I travel across my district, I've seen firsthand the devastating effect these drugs can have on families, friends, and loved ones. There is no barrier for these drugs. They strike at every level of society and across every geographic region. It touches all of us. In North Carolina, we have four of the top 25 worst cities for opioid abuse in the country. This truly is the crisis next door. And I'm proud of the collective effort the House of Representatives has undertaken in a bipartisan way to address this epidemic. One important piece of this effort is a bipartisan bill I worked on with my colleague G.K. Butterfield, the Sound Disposal and Packaging Act, which will direct the FDA to work with manufacturers to help reduce diversion, overprescribing, and abuse of Schedule II or III opioids. I focused on packaging and disposal because it seemed everyone I talked to had sort of a light bulb go. So many of us have unused opioids in our medicine cabinets from surgeries, accidents, or hospital visits. With 70% of heroin addictions beginning in the medicine cabinet, attacking this oversupply with packaging on the front end and with disposal on the back end was a logical place for me to start. We need to reduce the supply of opioids that find their way out of the medicine cabinet, and this legislation is the first step that will do just that. I appreciate the leadership of my friend G.K. Butterfield for working with me in a bipartisan manner and authoring this bill. I want to thank the leadership of the Energy and Commerce Committee and Health Subcommittee, Chairman Walden, Chairman Burgess, Ranking Members Pallone and Green, for their partnership and help to make sure this could be a reality today. Finally, Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to submit to the record this letter from Dispose RX in support of H.R. 5687. Without objection. The Sound Disposal and Packaging Act. I urge all my colleagues to please support this legislation, and 